adding a 21st century perspective. You have just seen our ancient high technology program. It features our modern perspective on preferred construction stones used in the very earliest era of human history. As you've clearly seen, those immense building blocks at Baalbek, Lebanon are, for all practical applications, not conceivably manageable. They exist and can be recognized as being not practical at all. Most impressively, the vectors of force required to precisely position such blocks into place would be their unimaginable point in a practical construction. Again, the many monumental or cyclopean blocks at Valbec are the largest building materials in the world and in all of human history. As we have cited from the authorities, the three blocks comprising the trilithon are estimated at over 1,000 tons each. The Lebanese Ministry of Tourism states in their Baalbek brochure that the remaining quarry stone, comparable to the in situ trilithon blocks, quote, is 21.5 meters by 4.8 meters by 4.2 meters and weighs an estimated 1,000 tons, unquote. Additionally, in the Masonic history book titled Masonic Antiquities of the Orient Unveiled by M. W. Redding, 1875, there is a recognition of Baalbek's preeminence. From page 237, it is recorded that, quote, this platform is composed of huge cut stones, three of which are so large that it seems incredible that they could have been quarried and brought from the quarry a mile distant and placed in position 25 feet above the foundation by any human agency. One of these stones measures 64 feet 8 inches in length, 19 feet in width, and 14 feet thick. The others do not vary much from it in size. In the quarry is another of these great stones, finished, ready to be moved, which is 69 feet long, 17 wide, 14 thick, and estimated to weigh 1,135 tons, unquote. That from 1875. The historical contradictions preserved in the Baalbek edifice would seem appropriate for an episode of the History Channel series titled That's Impossible of 2010 and 11, albeit that the premise of the program's title became less of lessons in actual phenomena virtually impossible to understand and more about how anomalies are not really possible. Baalbek, uniquely, cannot be refuted. It is impossible and it is there to be experienced any time. In the sequence of photographs which follow, we now add a previously unavailable perspective to those stones of ancient high technology. Fortuitously, the Los Angeles County Art Museum has performed an invaluable experiment for us. They have installed a, quote, monumental sculpture, unquote, which they titled Levitated Mass. The object of their exhibit is described as a, quote, 340-ton granite megalith, unquote. Our new photo series illustrates our 21st century technology for transporting and moving into position this perhaps postmodern cyclopean stone. Notice, however, that the weight of LACMA's levitated mass sculpture does not even come close to the utilitarian weight of merely one-half of the trilithon blocks at Balabek. Thus, the force of weight versus movement when comparing the trilithon blocks versus the levitated mass is not actually comparable at all. There would be an exponential increase in the gravitational forces impeding any movement of the Balabek blocks at three times the weight of levitated mass. In fact, as you can see, our 2012 moving equipment of high-strength steel is itself rather monumental. Yet, Baalbek was built without perhaps even the most primitive wooden wheel. Plus, 
the Baalbek Triathlon is set very high off the ground level. Everything about the triathlon symbolizes the most unimaginably difficult concepts to achieve with precision at the most difficult epoch in all human history. So, how is it that these constructions exist in perfect condition in 2012? Ton for ton and historical period for period, the Baalbek Triathlon now takes on the futuristic value of being an edifice of truly ancient conceptual art, the same as that intended for the LACMA levitated mass in 2012. We express great appreciation to the Los Angeles County Art Museum and to those philanthropists who funded their de facto levitated mass sculpture moving experiment. Thank you very much for your attention.